Hi, today we'll discuss the different procedures to solve possible malfunctions on the transmission system of our Volvo. The earth moving equipment industry is continuously evolving and its manufacturers are constantly committed to using increasingly innovative technologies, thus reducing consumptions and increasing productivity. Surely one of the most versatile machines for which the major innovations have been implemented is the bucket loader, designed mainly for loading unloading loose materials and digging operations. Especially because of these features, one of its most important components is the transmission Volvo HDE204, full power shift with a torque converter that allows changing direction quickly. In this case, the vehicle that has just been returned after a rental has a gear shift slip and malfunction due to a pressure sensor error. Let's proceed with the diagnosis by connecting the Navigator TXDS vehicle interface to the dedicated diagnostic socket. From the IDC5 main menu, select the make Volvo CE, the type of vehicle, in this case, loader tier 3, tier 4 interham, then the transmission system. Now scan all the systems in the vehicle using the TGS3S option and shortly after a list with the related errors will be displayed. Through the dedicated page you can also see if the error is in the active status or stored if it occurred previously. Select the error and thanks to the specific link you can see the associated wiring diagram with the faulty component highlighted, in this case a pressure sensor. Now three operations must be carried out. Using the connection information function, identify all the components electrically connected together. Locate the position of the component through the device location window. Consult the specific sheet containing all the information needed to understand its operation and check its efficiency. A pressure sensor or pressure transmitter is able to convert a pressure value into an electrical variable. There are three types, thin film, Thick film, piezo-resistive, made up by a resistive element fastened onto a sensor element, generally a membrane or a lamina. The resistive element follows the deformations of the sensor element, typically lengthenings and shortenings caused by the external force you want to measure, varying its electrical resistance in relation to the deformation itself. In our case, the system installed is a 3-pin piezoelectric type. Now we must replace the pressure sensor. To do so, the forward gear solenoid valve must be removed temporarily to be able to access the sensor with a wrench. Disconnect the connector and unscrew the sensor, remembering to place a container that will collect the oil that remains in the circuit. Now install the new sensor, reassemble the solenoid valve removed previously and top up the hydraulic oil if needed. After replacing a transmission component that directly affects the hydraulic oil, the transmission must be calibrated. In the settings page, select the transmission calibration, paying careful attention to the dedicated help section. Bring the oil temperature to 80 Celsius, 176 Fahrenheit, as indicated in the help section. Follow the displayed messages step by step until the calibration procedure is complete. Once the calibration process is complete, check if there are any errors and eventually clear them. Through the parameters and the specific dashboard, make sure the transmission is working properly. The machine is ready to return to work. If you want to stay updated with our latest news from Texas World, please follow us on our channels. <laughs>